Developing at four, we are learning more about the 17-year-old accused of stabbing and killing a 16-year-old girl as she was leaving her apartment for school. It happened Thursday morning in Kissimmee. News 6's Catherine Silver joins us now live from Osceola County. And Catherine, police say the suspect had thoughts of murder. That's right. Detectives say he had, quote, dangerous thoughts about killing someone. And for some reason, he chose 16-year-old Paula Pagan. As they continue to look into the suspect's background, friends of the young girl are remembering her as funny, kind, and caring. I missed school because I just... I couldn't go knowing she's not there. Dylan Greckney went to Osceola High with 16-year-old Paula Pagan. Friday, he brought balloons to her home in Kissimmee, a gesture for her grieving family. Holidays, Thanksgiving's coming up. She's not going to be able to be there. Early Thursday morning, Kissimmee police say the teen was leaving for school when she was stabbed. She actually worked her way back into her, her house and her family was the ones to find her. Detective Betty Holland says officers had no idea who did it. A line of questioning towards a character witness turned into a confession. We were just trying to get background on the victim. And during the interview, he started making statements that just didn't seem accurate. Investigators say 17-year-old Anas Muhammad had a, quote, estranged friendship with the victim. It was apparent that he had very dangerous thoughts about killing someone and unfortunately he was able to carry this one out. What motivated him to choose Pagan remains a mystery. I believe that it could have been anybody. I guess for a period of time he's had these thoughts and he just wanted to carry out this particular crime. Muhammad appeared in front of a judge this morning on a murder charge. Right now, he's being held at a juvenile detention center. Kissimmee police declined to share any other details with us about his friendship with the victim and why it was estranged. They say he does have a history, a battery charge from several years ago. I'm live in Osceola County. Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.